All right. So, here's the ultimatum. Only one Eevee, all right? You only have the one Eevee, right? And you can only change it. Umbreon. You, you would... Umbreon. Umbreon. Guys, David would have sex with Umbreon. Guys, we have a few things to talk oh God, about. Matt. Um, which one should we start with? Which one should we start with the YouTube that we found, or the the van guy that we found? The van guy. The van guy. Van guy, not Van Gogh. Um. So we were we were driving to get some food, right? Because we was hungry. And this car drives by. Not a car. It was a van. And we see a very familiar looking guy in it. His name was. Uh, Henry Dinklebutt. That wasn't his actual name. We're not going to say his real name for obvious reasons. But we saw him, and it brought us a little nostalgia trip from high school. Because that's the last time I saw that guy. Um, he's a psycho. Yeah, I was about to say, David has yeah. more stories about um, him. He was, in the, he, was, he was a junior this is gonna be the uh, while we were all seniors, and he was in the class I was in. <laughs> well, the program I was in. Yeah. And... Do you see that fucking thing? Oh my god, oh. it's on the wall! What the fuck is that? That's the, that's the actual enemy of the game. You know the thing I killed Jessica and drug Matawet? Oh shit. Yeah, that's what that thing actually is. Uh, anyways, go back to the Henry Dinkle chart. Dinkleberg? Dinkleberg, yeah. Oh. Uh. Henry Dinkle. <laughs> Take your time, why don't you? <laughs> so, I remember just talking to like all the other, because I was a, um intern for my program when right. I was a senior, because I didn't have to take yeah. certain classes. Yeah, came in, helped with Helped with class. whatever, and um, I'd be sitting there talking, and it would just random shit out of his ass. I, I like... I mean, like, how random? Psychotic random. I actually don't want her to die yet, so I'm gonna. You fucking. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> no! You fucking son of a bitch! He fucking kicked the controller, guys! <laughs> the fuck! He got me fucking up now! Oh my god, she's actually gonna die! No! No! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I was genuinely trying no, because if you if you bring her back to the cabin and Mike is there, she'll have a bite on her neck from surviving that thing, and Mike will literally pull out the gun and be like, I gotta shoot you, you might turn into one. And I was just gonna blatantly shoot her just like I did with Ashley. <laughs> Crap. What now? Damn it, dude. I just thought it'd be funny if I kidnapped her. <laughs> you fucking You ruined all of it! We could have shot another woman! <laughs> See, now it's better. <laughs> Alright, anyways. <laughs> Goes back to normal. Plain face. Hey, I did not talk about shooting a woman. It's like uh, the scene in American Psycho when he kills Paul Allen and then goes blank faced again. Ah, oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah, no, seriously, she, she pulls up and Mike's like, uh, you got bit, and everyone's like, oh, you might turn into one. And he gives you an option to shoot Emily. And I was seriously just gonna fucking immediately do it. <laughs> give him, no, give him, give him the pistol. Let, uh, let me have the pistol, cause I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and the muscle and all. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Hmm. When you put it that way. When you're right, you're right, I guess. There you go, Daryl. Um, Why don't you shoot yourself in the get your own show. Hey, shoot him, please! Thanks! Ah. Ah. You fucked that up, you almost shot him. No, I pressed it. Everybody, just come. Yeah, you you actually can't shoot him. When you press the thing, he just takes it. Let me 
say what I came to say. Because this is the part of the game where they explain what the, the Wendigo is. Because that's what it is. The enemy is a Wendigo. Um, tell me, tell me the fucking story you were given in the car earlier about the guy. Oh shit! Yeah, we're back on Henry Dinkle Farge here. I remember, like, seriously, like, literally just... Uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. He seemed... When you look at him, he looks like... He is an alright guy, but at the same time... He he has that look to him where it's like, on one hand, it's like... This guy can't be that harmful, can he? And then, and then on the other hand, it's like... Right, and he's like, actually very fucking harmful. <laughs> You know, that goes for, like, almost every sociopath ever. No, but, like, everyone thought Ted Bundy was, like, fucking hot shit. Even though he, like, ate people. Dude, we were watching, um... I told you. He didn't eat anyone, He's but he bit a chick's ass. Guilty of something. Didn't he? Yeah, but he also, like, did a lot of, like, really crazy shit. Yeah. Not, not to say what, yeah. Um, he just didn't eat any of them. I was watching Stranger Things with Matt, and, um, uh, I remember, um... Uh, Max bringing up uh, Ted Bundy, and that was like um. Was that in the new season? This season four. Okay. I was about to say I don't remember that. Well, basically what's said. Uh, Nat sits here and like um. Basement this might be okay. Ted Bundy in this time? Okay. Down there. <laughs> My God. Not really. So, thought it was because it was in the 70s yeah that's when he was active yes it was in the 70s she thought it was before the 70s for a minute but then hold up i'm going back i'm getting as a stranger things fan i'm getting riled <laughs> i'm not even kidding i look it up i'm like no it's if it's 198 because um it was in night. I forget. It was nineteen. Season three was in 1976. I know that because there's the whole fucking Russian sleeper agent thing going on in that season, and the new Coca-Cola joke, or yeah, new Cola joke that they do, and that's both like 70s things, like 76. Now four is in the 80s. I already. Know I was about to say it had to have been in the 80s because how much of a time jump is it from three to four? Isn't it like a 83? 83. So like that's significant. Yeah. I think that's like, well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get so Josh. They wouldn't even be in high school then. Do you understand? Anymore. Oh. By that logic. Uh, no, they because uh, Mike yeah, and all of them were fresh, are freshmen right now. Yeah, but, I'm, but that doesn't make any sense. What were they in season three? Were they fucking... Eighth <laughs> graders? I don't know. So then even more, they wouldn't be freshmen in season four. If it's a time jump from 76 no, they, but to they say But they say they're freshmen because they joined, that, they joined the Hellfire Club. And Eddie's like a senior. This is the end point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. I think Eddie, Eddie's character is actually kind of cool. Besides the fact that at know? the moment he's a bitch. Yeah. Trust me. I know. Uh, that actually doesn't make any sense. I'd have to look for them to still be freshmen in 83. Here, hold on. I'm going to look at the dates. Even more. I think you should fucking... See what grade they were in in season three. I'm deep diving right now, bro. Yeah. Because um, that actually doesn't make any sense. Me, you're the expert on these oh, by the way, Chris doesn't kiss Ashley. Oh, uh, oh shit. Or Ashley doesn't guy kiss guy Chris. I mean, because Be we tried careful. to cheat her. You follow my lead. Fucking deep diving. We're trying to figure out some Stranger Things so, lore, guys. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? How many times do I have to shoot it before it dies? You mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. 1983. If you have For season four? Season one? Tough what? All right, no. Wait. No, that is right. No, that is right, because there's a bunch of fucking... Because I'm pretty sure he has like a... Nancy was a freshman. I mean, are they just and season one, right? No, 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 no. no. Sophomore? Junior. They were sophomore. She was a junior because season two was the, their senior year. That was like the last year that Nancy, Steve, and uh, Jonathan no, but they still go to that. They still go to the school. No, they don't. Not in season three. Nancy, Nancy, and Jonathan are working at the news station in season three. Ah, true. And Steve's doing the Chips Ahoy thing. Or whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> I don't remember. 
freaking ships of war. But no, they were definitely seen. So like no, I think they graduated in they graduated in season two. They graduated in the beginning of season two because Steve and Nancy break up at the end of their high school thing because she like gets drunk and says that everything is bullshit and he's like, okay, uh, I'm a dip, bye bye. <laughs> Um, so that means... I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Beginning of season two, you said? Yeah. Is when they left their senior year. So season three is going to be in 85. Right? Uh, that would make the most sense, I think. Well, if, okay, if 83 was the first season, then when the fuck was season four? Because if that's the 90s, then... We're too late. I'm getting scared. Ranger? Right now. 1986. Like, okay, there. Right, right, right. I was about to say, because it was still the... So the whole thing was in the 80s? I could have sworn the 70s. Yeah. At least. 83 for the first season. That's fucking wild. I genuinely thought that the first season was, like, in the 70s. Have you watched season four yet? No. At a time. How much have you watched? I don't remember. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, I, I, I watched, like, the first three episodes when it all Honestly, up, after, and like... And I haven't seen it since. And this is me, and I don't know if you agree with me on this, but yeah. I honestly... I got more interested uh, as the season went on rather than the very beginning. I didn't really like the very beginning of Stranger Things. The, you didn't like the first season? Not too much, no. No, I got more interested around the end of season one. That's fair. Then I did Season that one is kind of slow, I'll admit. Move, it's move, way slower move, than move, move, move. No, it doesn't matter. Because no matter what we do, Chris is going to die during this portion. Because we tried to kill Ashley, remember? So doing this, all it does is make the stranger die quicker, I think. And then, yeah, no, seriously, this is going to be like the first time in the entire playthrough that we actually pay attention to the cutscenes. <laughs> instead of talking about random shit. Not see, you literally can't die during this part. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You just died. He died, yeah. But I mean, like, during this encounter with the Wendigo, Chris can't die. He can only die if he tries shooting Ashley because he goes back to the cabin and tries to get in, but Ashley literally won't open the door. She has, like, a schizo moment or something. She's like, sorry, Daryl 2.0, but the voices are telling me not to. Hey, combat roll. That was kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fucked up his leg somehow. Oh, shit. Characters have literally fallen from worse in this game. Oh, God. Thank you. oh my god! I just shot your ass. You want it again? You son of a watch. Ash, Ash, come but on, she just stares. Back, it's the crazy Let shit. Me hit. Ash. <laughs> She's like, oh, you tried to shoot me. I think he gets his head cut, yeah. What the fuck? Damn. And she just fucking sat Chris. there and watched. Fuck! What the fuck? You just killed my friend, Ashley! What the fuck? You gotta go. Like now. She's like in a whole fucking mood. Stay with me, Ash. God, it would have been so fucking good Stay if we kept me. Emily alive then. Because then she would have to watch Mike kill Emily afterwards. Only only to find out afterwards, because there's a book that she reads. Um, the Wendigo's fucking creepy ass looking. They are, yeah. There's a, there's a book that uh, Ashley reads after the whole Mike and Emily will you shoot her bit. And she'll read through it and realize that getting a scratch mark from a Wendigo doesn't mean shit. It's a fucking Wendigo, not a zombie. But <laughs> if we if we had Emily alive, boom, and it shoots her right through the eye too. It actually it's like a nice little effect that the game does. It actually, I won't even lie. I'm Sam. I just killed Daryl 2.0. Can you back up? No sign of him. I think. Doing work. Even if you were mad, on a real note. If you're mad at your friend are you sure for trying to because I'm be honest, would you rather be shot in the face or get fucking right, see, ripped their shreds by a saw? Let's be for real, which right, one would be more which one's gonna You know what's funny? We tried to kill her in both of those instances anyways. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> so when it was the Josh and Ashley, we were like, we're going to save you, Josh! But she didn't die, so she shouldn't even want I'm to I'm just saying, back at I, either way, if they were both to die in that instance, would you rather be shot, or would you rather get fucking solved? I'd rather get fucking That's shot, because, because it's, it's going to be quick. Yeah, an immediate... It's fucking... Know it's crazy. You know what's crazy? Yeah. The, the only way to activate Ashley killing Chris like that is if you aim it's at her first. Out there. You can aim at yourself first, and then she'll be all like, no, 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 don't do it, blah, 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 kill me instead, blah, 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 and then you can aim it at her, and shoot her, and it won't do anything, but it's all literally based off of who he aimed at first. That's kind of cool, though. That is actually kind of cool. Oh, oh God. <laughs> but, uh, you want to talk about the, the YouTube that we found now? Or... That's, I'm going to let you talk about that you for a minute. You want me to talk yeah, about it? Yeah, because I talked about the one story. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. Okay. All day, so she just finds it immediately and reads it. Okay. Here, uh, take the thing. So, uh, this this guy that we went to high school with, right? Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I don't even know if he said his name in any of his videos. But what I'm getting to is, is that he also has a YouTube channel, right? Called Smiley Nation. I feel like I've talked about this before on something. Oh, there might have been uh, like the Sonic Frontiers stream, maybe. Yeah, no, it was Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Okay, well then you guys already know. But no, we, oh. we watched we watched one of his videos today. Oh, no, 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 uh, we watched we watched the bendy that? one. And uh, Mr. Smiley Nation, Let we have a few that. words for you. If you watch this video, if you watch this video, watch this far in, Mr. Smiley Nation, I gotta say, man, we've gotta get to Mike. What the fuck? Now, how much money is on that bed? How much money? Tell me. In the comments. In the com- or yeah. In the comments, tell me. And also, we had a little note oh, for you. Joshua. Your camera's too wide, though. To we need to see your pores, because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't know which that and, um... Wait, the trees are growing in that. Yeah, but look who's in the seat. Look who it was the whole time. Death. It's Daryl. Yeah, it's our boy fucking Daryl! That and the- just talk more in your videos, man. That's our only notes. But yeah, we were watching his fucking Bendy video, guys, and he... I do understand the point of if you're playing a game and you get focused and you lose track and don't that, realize... That I understand, yeah. But if you're gonna do, like, a long... If you plan on doing like a that, series... You gotta be talking, you know? He was flexing all of his money in that video, though. There's so much Bendy stuff on the screen. There was Bendy, there was Bendy again. I think maybe, maybe, maybe Bendy? Deserted you? Holy shit. Wow, dude, the fucking... You know, this is kind of deserved. We did bully the living fuck out of Dr. Hill, I think, in an episode. What is happening? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Daryl, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Crayola. Made by Daryl. <laughs> Crayola. They hurt, uh, which one? Man. I didn't hurt anyone. They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. You did not intend for that to happen. It yeah. just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of heroic... Okay, look, 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 look. I, I get Josh wanting revenge on them, because they pranked them and they... It was just a game? Yeah, yeah, say that. But, I, I understand Josh wanting to get back at them all, I really do. But, the way he went about it is, like, the most maniacal shit possible. Like, let's say you guys pull a prank and then my sister went missing... I wouldn't fucking pull some, like, Splatoon 3 Let's Play shit on you and fucking force you to cut someone. Took you so long. I'd just fucking Not good up there. put on, like, a pipe bomb in your mailbox. <laughs> and the fact that... What the fuck? Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry, Ashley, that you let me shut down. I'm fine, Sam. Okay. Shut okay. the fuck what up, Sam. Guy? Oh, my God. No, Sam. Wait. No more. A lot of shit went down this episode. How many people died? Three? What the That's two, right? There's that because no, Emily died. Stranger, Emily. Do you have the Stranger, and Emily, and Chris. Chris. Yeah. Well, Daryl 2.0. Daryl 2.0, yeah. He's yeah. gotta have it. Is that a map? 
my god, I was prepared for anything. Actually, show I think. Oh, um, shit. Fuck, fuck. You guys know what to do. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. So Mike's gonna be the last guy. The. Mike is the last. Oh, wait, no, Josh is still alive. They yeah, just don't know where he is. Yeah. Did he escape from him? Yeah, no, oh, that's what uh, Chris and the stranger were going out to do, was to get Josh and bring him back inside so he wouldn't die. But when they went out there, he was already gone. So, right, I think what Mike is doing is he's looking for Josh? I don't know. Actually, for some reason, I don't remember this part. Well... Oh, wait. No, I remember this. You get a fucking double-barreled shotgun, you make friends with the wolf, and then you do some badass shit for a hot minute as Mike. Oh. Yeah, it's basically just a fucking penis-growing simulator. Noted. Uh... Yeah. And you, you said you did want to make sure Josh is, like, one of the only ones that can survive, right? Is it Mike? Is it Mike, or is it Josh is the only one who survives? Well, the only way we can make Josh survive is if we find a very specific piece of evidence as a very specific character. Oh, have we missed out on that? Or? No. It's literally something you get at, like, the very end of the game. So basically when it's wrapping up everything. And I think you get it as Sam. I remember that, at least. Mm -hmm. You get it as Sam, and she tells it to Mike, and I think Mike tells it to Josh. Do we? Should and that's we, what keeps him alive. Okay, real quick. Yeah. For the entertainment of the folks out here. Yes. Do we keep Daryl alive? He oh, has been the pride and joy. He has been the. I want to run the fucking way. <laughs> I, I like how no, I like how f the first episode we were hating on Mike. But now he's like our favorite dude. Him and Daryl are like our favorite dudes. I, I don't think we can keep Mike alive, with the amount of characters that we kill off. If we can keep Daryl alive, though. If we can keep Daryl alive, then we can literally kill everyone else off, and Daryl will be the only survivor. But, oh, okay, because like the end of the game is weird. If if you really wanted to, you could just do something right at the beginning, and boom, it's immediately over. Everyone who's in the building still is dead. Which means everybody. Wait, so you can do something at the very beginning of the game and kill everybody? At the end of the game. Oh. At the end of... Because, okay. They're... At the end of the game, it's like a little standoff. They're like, alright, the Wendigos are here, and we gotta survive just a bit longer. We're gonna kill these fuckers. And they have a whole plan inside of the building. Uh, that involves it like exploding and shit. The miracle thing. And uh Oh uh, I remember what this part with Mike is. This is literally if you just give a shit about the nineteen fifty shit. Oh basically. Yeah. There there was like a whole side fucking story in this game that explains why the Wendigos were there in the first place kind of. But like it's whatever. We, we haven't touched, like, any other evidence oh, ever, shit. so, like, it wouldn't make any sense to try now. <laughs> True. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah. Oh, we've been here before. I think... No. We won't be able to. Wait! We could. We maybe could. We maybe could. But we would have to kill Ashley first... And we would have to make sure that Mike gets out of the building first. Fuck, how does that work? You're just, bro, I was about to do it. Like, no, I, I'm going to look up at it. A plan through. No, like, seriously, the end of the game has so many different ways it can be played. Like, you can literally just kill everyone right off the bat. You can let a few of them get out and then kill a few characters. You can make it to where Mike is the last fucking dude standing. And he's, like, on the ground, all beaten and bloody, can't do shit, and he pulls out a lighter, and he's like, take this motherfucker, and lights it, and the whole place blows up. That's but, just badass. Yeah. But, fuck, I actually don't know how to do it to where Sam would die and Mike would live. I don't know how to activate that one. Because I don't know when you would have to kill Sam. Because you would have to kill Sam... No. 
Are you I'm like talking like a whole ass episode ahead right Are now. Are you talking about this guy? This? Yeah, the yeah. This is where you get you get a little torch and you get a fucking sawed off shotgun that never runs out of ammo. Bad okay, as fuck. Right? It's like Doom. What if Mike was Doom guy? You just don't have a response to that, huh? If Mike was Doom Guy, you'd just be silent. If Mike was Doom Guy, he was a really good frat boy at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think cutting off his fingers is what did it. I think that's what saved his character. That's the only reason? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the only reason we like him now, guys. So, bam. Just so you know, chop your fingers off, and we'll like you. <laughs> we'll like you more. <laughs> if you guys cut off your fingers and do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cosplay, I will maybe make out with one of you. I didn't like how silent it got after I said that. Silent no. Silent no. Uh, I showed you the uh, trailer to the new one, right? Silent Hill F? Yeah. Yeah, no. that shit looks so good. I think this is gonna be interesting. Whoa! Yeah. Shit. I. Oh. <laughs> what did we kick the dog? Easy boy. Oh yeah, he probably yeah. Oh. Oh. I think that means we're not gonna have the little. Oh. Uh, okay, so if we did not kick him earlier in the game, then he would have followed us like a little companion. So, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Actually, even better, I think if he's not even going to fuck with us at all, he's going to be stay alive then. Oh, so we get to keep Doggo alive? Yeah. Yeah, we kept Doggo alive by abusing him. See, guys? Physical abuse is all right sometimes. Oh, Editor, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, um. She's a peds. This place is huge. This is a big fucking place, for real. I think this is probably the first Until Dawn episode where we actually paid attention to what was happening on the screen. Not most of the time, yeah. yeah. Excluding the first episode, of course. But no, sir, every episode since has just been us talking about random shit. Awesome. Oh, cool. Oh, one of those fucking... Pull this lever and then, uh... Pull this lever, and then afterwards, hump, pull the hump other. Hump it, bro. <laughs> Editor, put the, uh, the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever play the campaign to the original Modern Warfare 2? Mm, I'm trying to think what I did. I don't, know, I don't think I did. Really? I don't think You I did. missed out on a really good campaign. Modern Warfare 2 had some really good levels in it. Like, uh... I could say I could say my favorite one. Didn't we talk then, about like doing uh, like this was um I think in the Sonic Frontier streams too. Uh, we talked about going through and playing co old COD games. Yeah, we did for streams to, or something. Yeah, like to that. play through the the campaigns of them and stuff. And then when it came to games like Black Ops and the ones that had like other game modes to play. Fuck man, little mini record. Yeah, disgusting. like little mini series. I still think that would be very cool. I think huh. it would be amazing if we like, like went to the original Black Ops yeah. and played those maps and shit. Because uh, Black Ops One was just a whole fucking thing. Like that's we'll have more of a roadmap for twenty twenty three. Right. I feel like we should do that. Yeah. Make yeah. sure what we want to do for twenty twenty three before we get in there at least. So that, like, when we're done with one series, we are we aren't scrambling for another one. Like, yeah. oh, we beat, uh, we beat fucking until dawn. And yeah, now... <laughs> yeah. Because we were talking about at the very beginning what we do next. Yeah. Because I don't. Oh well, that's a lie. I do know what our next series is, but I just can't say it. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a next year thing. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, excluding that. Because people already know that there's going to be a name change, because we said that in one of the streams, I think. Um, people already know that. Did we say anything else regarding that? Did we say that... Didn't we say... 
We didn't reveal any names, but didn't we say something about someone? Yep. Okay, so, all right. So people basically know what's happening, but they don't know fully. They, like, they know the demo. And us t- talking about it isn't going to hurt anything. Yeah, no. no if anything, and that, would help us, to, that would help us to not reveal it. <laughs> well, that, and since we're already in, um, basically, we're in the last month. Right, this is the last month. This is December. Yeah, uh, December 2nd. This is going to be the last month of Dirty Rogues. Yeah, this... Starting January 1st, guys, this channel isn't going to be Dirty Rogues anymore. So. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around for the Dirty Rogues, those who showed up for the early half of it, but you'll get to see the channel evolve. I don't know what we're watching. I think a snuff tape? Um, if you keep watching our content on the shit that we do, you'll see more snuff tapes like this. Like, that's just how we do it, you know? <laughs> we're just real like that. And you see that character? That's the nurse from Silent Hill. I put her in the game because I actually worked on this game if you didn't know. Uh, I'm just pulling shit out of my ass now, but... <laughs> and... The name change isn't gonna be meaning we're changing our content up. It's gonna no, probably yeah. stay the same. Yeah, the... If we're being honest, I'm gonna say it. The only reason the name change is happening is because the person we're bringing on asked for it to happen so if if it wasn't for us being asked to change it the channel would still be dirty rogues but we're not changing us we're still uh who are we huh did you just <laughs> ask who we are i know who we are uh we're still the same people we're still going to be pumping out our funny content <laughs> i said oh, to go on with that what the fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like um, like with the the random fighter series, like when the new channel comes on, that's, that's not gonna disappear. Changed. That's still gonna be a thing that goes on. It's just um, those videos are literally gonna be just for us to fucking fool around and goof. Right. It's not a series. That's something we don't consider a series. Right. That's a it's good, not something we have to worry about actually getting stuff out on. It's just something when we feel like releasing something that yeah. We enjoy if we doing. ever if we ever get bored of doing whatever playthrough we're doing that. Uh, Duration. Speaking of that, we did record one earlier. We did. So, yeah. in this sitting of where we're doing Until Dawn videos, we also recorded a um, fighters video. And who knows, we might do another one. We could, you're right. We could. I don't know where the fuck we're going. We have like. We literally have like five minutes left for me to figure out where the fuck to go. <laughs> I'm gonna speed run it. All right, guys, we're going to beat the game all in these five minutes. Just watch. No, you're not. No, trust me, I know all the exploits, dude. I played this game back in 2013. You're a liar. Yeah, I am lying. It didn't come out until 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have no idea where to go. This is weird. This is weird without the dog. Oh! Okay, that kind of got me. <laughs> Editor put on the screen... Aiden jump scare count one. Don't I have one? Yeah, we both have one. <laughs> this game ain't even really that scary. I'm being honest. So we're gonna end huh. the game off with one jump scare. We're gonna piece. end it off with this. 